Previously on LearnWake.com, we brought you part one of an instructional video entitled Air Tricks The Release, which walked you through the release portion of Load and Release Air Tricks from the perspective of line tension. In part two of this instructional, we'll bring it all together by walking you through the release portion from the perspective of water pressure. In this clip, I'll use a comparison that I've created to demonstrate the physics behind the release. The 2x4 underneath Clayton's feet represents the force of the water that will be applied to your board during release. Let's take a look at the load and release arc that we discussed in part 1 from this new perspective of the water. In this new perspective, Clayton will pivot at his shoulders. When he releases, the arc's natural direction of travel would be to move down before it can move back. But because the water is in the way, preventing your lower body from going down, this down is turned into an up. Let's measure this up with a slow release. In the loaded position, his shoulders are about two feet off of the ground. When he releases, his pivot point is forced upward as the down motion of the arc is transferred into an up motion. Once he is fully released back into a standing position, his pivot point has moved up to about five feet off of the ground. In this slow release, his pivot point moved a total of about three feet straight up. When the release happens quick enough, that up momentum will continue up into the air, bringing the rider along for the ride. Now let's take a look at what happens if you release at different speeds with this new perspective. If you release slowly, you will be returned to a standing position with your weight tossed over your toes. If you release at a medium speed, you will bring a little bit more down force into your arc, which results in more upward momentum. This will result in you being popped a few feet off of the water into a loaded air. To maximize this catapulting upward pop, release quickly by allowing your lower body to aggressively begin the down portion of the arc while remaining in a stiff, tall body position. At this point, your lower body will be abruptly and rapidly thrown beneath and then behind you as you get launched into the air. Here's where this gets exciting. Just one of the forces of line tension or water pressure could easily launch a rider into the air, but when you properly combine and apply both of these forces, then your load and release air tricks will become massive. That about wraps it up for part two. Now that you understand the physics behind load and release air tricks, you can apply these principles to your riding and land your first air trick or make the ones you have become much bigger.